The hip is a true ball and socket joint. This arrangement gives the hip the large amount of motion needed for daily activities like walking, squatting, and stair climbing. Understanding how the different layers of the hip are arranged and connected can help you understand how the hip works, how it can be injured, and how challenging recovery can be when this joint is injured or damaged by arthritis. The deepest layer of the hip includes the bones and the joints. The next layer is made up of the ligaments of the joint capsule. And finally, these ligaments are covered by the important tendons and the muscles that help move the leg. The important structures of the hip can be divided into several categories. These include bones and joints, ligaments and tendons, muscles, nerves, blood vessels, and bursa. The bones that form the hip are the femur or the thigh bone and the pelvis. The top end of the femur is shaped like a ball. This ball is called the femoral head. The femoral head fits into a round socket on the side of the pelvis. This socket is called the acetabulum. The femoral head is attached to the rest of the femur by a short section of bone called the femoral neck. A large bump juts outward from the top of the femur next to the femoral neck. This bump, called the greater trochanter, can be felt along the side of your hip. Large and important muscles connect to the greater trochanter.